Hey old soul, just over a year ago I sold everything I owned in Australia and moved with my ex-husband and three kids to this beautiful land of Bali. Now I travel first class around the world teaching people how to manifest their dream life. If you are ready to step into a paradigm that's so wild, so freeing, so abundant, then you're exactly where you need to be. Welcome. Sunday, Monday, ba ba, ba ba, happy days, ba ba. Okay, so my dream journal, my dream journal, clever Eva, coming at you live with her dreams, her deepest, darkest secrets. Today she discovered. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna teach you how to analyze your dreams really, really, really short and sweet. If you do want to go deeper with this, definitely join the Limitless Wealth membership because it is in the three day challenge. We go so deep with this. But my dreams last night may give you a bit of a fright. They'll go, oh my God, she's got some dark shit happening down there. Okay, so I'm gonna use my dreams as an example so you can use your dreams because you spend a third of your life sleeping and if you're not analyzing your dreams, if you are not keeping a dream journal, my God, if you're not keeping a dream journal, you're missing out on huge ways because you are the whole. You're the whole. And the reason that you're not having those quantum leaps or moving as quickly as possible is because you are not assessing your dreams. You're not going into all of you, the darkness. You're not able to see the 95%, which is the subconscious bullshit that's keeping you back. Because it's all well and good to go, I'm a millionaire now. And then you go into your dreams and it's like, mm, you're really not. Because you have to get your mind, your heart, and your gut, the three brains, really just in sync. In sync, baby girl. In sync, baby boy. <laughs> that sounded weird. Okay. So... So we every single night we have like four to five dreams. You have them. Do not lie to me. I don't have them. It's scientifically proven that you have those dreams. It's just whether you can remember them or not. So don't be disheartened if you only remember one dream because, well, that's okay. It's not about trying to remember all of them. It's just trying to get the gold and capturing them as quickly as possible when you wake up in the morning um, because you will forget them. So keep a dream journal beside your bed so you can do that. So last night, I remember three of my dreams. One of them was, and right now we're going through a crazy eclipse season. So you're doing a lot of work behind the scenes naturally. You're going to notice like maybe you wake up in the morning, you're feeling tired because you're doing naturally a lot of work behind the scenes. So the first dream I had, I remember very, very, very faintly. It was like this murder. But what was happening in the murder was that I was so calm and so at peace. So I was witnessing this murder, but there was no attachment to it. And what this symbolizes to me, because every dream is different in the eyes of the beholder. You can go and Google this because Sigmund Freud kind of has like dream journals and like uh, dream meanings for every symbol. I prefer Carl Jung's uh, version of it. They actually researched their dreams together, but then they went out on their own because Sigmund Freud was really set in the way that it's every single dream symbol means this thing, whereas Carl Jung was like no it is personalized to the person that's experiencing the dream and that's how I look at it so first one murder I'm detached I'm seeing this murder in my dream and I'm not getting emotionally like oh my god what's happening so to me that symbolizes freedom it symbolizes that I'm at peace with my darkness and all is well. I'm p at peace with the collective darkness because this graphic stuff is happening. We have to remember that it's not good or bad, right or wrong. It just is. They're just quantum particles manipulating, but our brains create stories as to whether something's good or bad, right or wrong. We are eternal beings. I'm not saying murder is good, bad, right or wrong, but I'm just saying we're eternal beings and every single thing teaches us something. So that's the first one. That was my first takeaway from the first dream. I'm at peace with my darkness, woohoo, that's integrated. I'm probably not gonna have that dream again because I've integrated it. And that's sometimes where you have a really, really good dream, you never go back to it because you haven't integrated it. Number two, the dream I had was, I went for dinner with two of my friends and we were sitting out um, having dinner and one of my friends went and put the things back in, like it was like a buffet dinner and she's going to like, she doesn't want food on her plate so she's going to put it back like at the buffet and I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Now this symbolizes to me my uh, shadow aspect of control. 
I have to be in control. And this comes up for me with my kids because as a parent, we're constantly controlling, controlling, controlling. And I'm like, okay, I have to release control. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that dream. Thank you for reminding me that there's still a shadow aspect of me that's trying to control the outcome because the reality is who gives a fuck if she puts the food back? Someone at the buffet will tell her off. It's not my job to always try to control my environment to keep me safe. So I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Number three was... I was um, out with a good friend and we were, um, he used to have a drinking problem and I haven't spoken to this friend for a while and he, we were going out and he, I couldn't find him anywhere and it was like he was passed out on the couch. It was really, really interesting. And what this dream symbolized to me was ever, you don't need to rescue anyone. So for me, for years, I was always the tugboat. I was always trying to help people and force people. Now I'm just like, I'm the lighthouse. You can either swim to me or you can drown and I don't care. But there's still an aspect, a shadow aspect that's deep down in my subconscious that's like, okay, we gotta rescue these people. And so I'm just like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing me where the work is. Because often in the 3D, in this day to day, you might think that you're ahead of certain things and then your subconscious still takes a bit of time to get the rhythm to kind of clean that out so that you can rewrite new patterns and it shows you what you need to be aware of in the day to day to day to day to day. So I hope those three dreams that I had, well, that I remembered last night because I would have had another fourth one or a fifth one, but those three dreams, how I just showed you how I assess them, it's really important to know yourself deeply and know what you're actually working through at the moment. Like I know that I'm actually working through a shadow aspect of control right now. So I know that so I can see it more clearly. If you're not in tune with who you are, you're going to have your dreams and be like, hmm, no fucking clue why I had that. Why would I have had that? I don't feel that way. And so it's about really just journaling it out, getting it all out because your dreams are gold. They are absolute gold. If you're calling in something big in the 3D, your dreams are going to show you what's keeping you locked into the jail cell. So I truly, truly, truly hope this helps. If you want to go deeper with dream psychology, it's day two in the Limitless Wealth Challenge. That's in my Limitless Wealth membership. So you have to join the membership for $88 a month. Um, and you can cancel any time. It's not a hostage situation like my first dream. Um, <laughs> but, but I just really want you guys to start realizing that you've got to go into the shadow. You've got to go into the shadow. You've got to really start assessing the shadow and go deep with the shadow because that's how you excavate, change the paradigm because life is a magnet to all of you, the, the subconscious as well. And that's why people get stuck because they can't see the subconscious, but dreams are the ticket to see what you can't see physically. So the dreams are gold. They are what is going to get you to the next level. I truly and utterly believe this because you'll be like, why isn't it working? You'll have all this bullshit. And then you're like, oh my God, look at all this shit that keeps coming up in my dreams. And if you're struggling to not have dreams and just write no dream recorded, no dream recorded. And then eventually you'll start to see your dreams because because you're in tune, in sync with them. So truly hope this helps. If you want to come to the Magnetic to Money Masterclass, join the membership as well. That's going to be on next week. We're going to go deep. And this, like a lot of this shadow stuff is going to come up because you can't be magnetic to money when your subconscious is in, still stuck in fear, lack and scarcity. Money gets to flow as air, as effortlessly as you don't care. And yeah, it truly just gets to be everywhere. So I hope this helps you. And also, 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 if you're feeling the call to come to Bali in May, hip, 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 hooray, hooray, hooray. I just want to remind you, actually, just like Bali aside, in your life, please always remember this. Take this to the grave with you. Massive action equals massive change. When you do something that's big, the universe gives you something big because life is just a mirror. If you're sitting there every day and you're doing the same shit every single day, life can't give you anything big. So the Bali retreats that I have created, and if there's any coach out there or program or something that feels big to you, when you take action in that, the universe rewards you back. The reason I quantum leap so hard when I moved to Bali is because it was big action, massive action, selling my house, getting rid of my office, losing one of my businesses, like just getting rid of everything over and over and over and over again. Massive fucking action. So of course, when I moved to Bali, quantum leap, quantum leap, massive, because I'm making the massive shifts. So if you do feel the call to come to Bali, please send me a DM because it is massive action. You have to get on a plane. You've got to do these things and you're going to be terrified. Your mind's going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do it. But your soul will be like, just fucking go, lean in. And I'm not just saying this for me, for anything that you feel the call to do and you're ready for that massive change. If you're not ready for shifts, don't come because the changes are huge. The Kundalini energy that we work with on that retreat is like fucking fire. It is 
wildfire. You will just go, holy fucking shit. Like this is like being in a torpedo. So if you're sick of Groundhog Day, maybe you love Groundhog Day and you're addicted to Groundhog Day and you just want to say that and that's totally fine. I'm not judging you. You get to this world's a playground. You can do whatever you want every day. Maybe you love Groundhog Day. I do have friends that do. But if you're ready for that like change where you're just like, oh my God. Every single day is endless miracles. Life is throwing shit at me. I never even thought it was humanly possible. There is a life beyond my wildest dreams and every single day it's just miracle, 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 miracle. Then I ask you to come and I know something for, to be true. When something's for you, you get resourceful and you make it happen. There is no such thing as no money. There's no such thing as things not working out. There is abundance everywhere. Think of the element of water as money. Water is everywhere. We are made up of water. There is water in the ocean. We drink water every single day. Everywhere we look is water, 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 water. Think of water as money. If you can't think of air as money just yet, realize that you're constantly drinking it. It's abundance. It's the frequency of abundance. So if you truly and utterly feel the call to come to Bali, I invite you on a journey that's going to absolutely change your life. You like, you've seen the results. Every time I post it, the people like literally comment all the crazy things that happen to them from coming. So please lean in because I don't do this work for me. I don't do this work for personal gain. I do this work because I can see a new earth. I can see a world that's so fucking beautiful that we need to restore to its place. And through that, every single one of you are insane leaders and you need to step in and lead right now. We need you. And we don't need you to be worrying about money and living in survival mode. We need you to constantly make the big jumps, the big leaps, the massive actions so you can have massive change. Massive change. And I do truly feel like this. The first couple of decades of your life, if you're still kind of in the Groundhog Day phase, they're really slow. They're really slow. It's kind of like a little shift here, a little shift yet there, a little bit like a turtle or a fucking snail. And then you do something like the Bali retreat and all of a sudden you're like, fuck, life just goes on steroids, boom, 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 like next level. And it doesn't stop. It's like being on a roller coaster. You might have like two seconds where you get off the roller coaster, then you jump back on. You're just like, whoa, but you have so much peace inside of you. And that peace inside of you makes you feel calm while everything around you is just changing and it's so beautiful. And you get to see this kaleidoscope of this universe and you start seeing life as this beautiful mirror of all that is. And all I can say is that, my God, when you get there, it is the most beautiful thing and heaven on earth truly exists. And a life beyond your wildest dreams is absolutely waiting for you. A life where self-doubt doesn't exist because self-doubt is distortion. A life where you don't even think for one second, if I buy this, will I have the money to pay it? Fuck, of course you will. Of course you will because you were chosen, because you are powerful. Stop thinking like that. It is destroying you and the planet. It truly is. These bullshit distortions like, I don't know if I, if I buy something that's going to help me, if I'll lose it all. No. Life is supporting you because you are life. And it's so fucking beautiful. So if you feel the call to come to Bali, please DM me Bali. If you want to jump into the masterclass, join the Limitless Wealth membership. It's way cheaper than just buying the masterclass. I love you. I see you. Please analyze your dreams if you're jumping on late. Watch the start of this video because I go through my dreams and show you how to analyze them. I love you. I see you. Have the most beautiful, magical, phenomenal day because you are beautiful, powerful, phenomenal, abundant. Everything is fucking coming your way. You are a miracle. You were chosen. Never forget how powerful you are because you're an absolute star. Big love. Mwah.